Hello, uh, this is Robert Deltz. I'm a co-founder of NLP University of the International Association for Generative Change and for the Deltz Strategy Group. And all of these organizations, their, their purpose is to help people to manage change and to deal with challenges and uncertainty and find a way to get through and keep growing. And I'm speaking to you uh, here from my home in California, where I'm currently under shelter, like many others, uh, for the coronavirus, uh, the COVID-19. And um, I wanted to, was thinking about, well, what is it that could help us to more to deal with and address this situation? And of course, like everybody else, I'm washing my hands a lot. I'm keeping social distance um, and, you know, doing all of the things, of course, to avoid connecting or contacting the virus, but there's also things that we can do to help boost our immune system, to make it, uh, even if we were to, for, for almost unavoidable reasons these days, uh, to come in contact with some form of this virus, what, what could we do? And uh, for many years, I've worked in the area of mind-body health. Um, I'm, of course, uh, completely in support of all of the uh, things that we do medically, but also uh, like to integrate with that all the things that we can do to sort of take self-responsibility and bolster or boost our own immune response. And um, so I am going to be posting some articles on my various websites about this, and one of them is about uh, psychoneuroimmunology and using NLP to boost your immune response. I mean, so in addition to things like taking vitamin C, getting good exercise, etc. We know that there are things like stress that can, uh, it, it, you know, sort of impede or, you know, disrupt our immune response. Uh, so what are some things that we can do to actually boost or bolster it? Now, one of the things that I developed many years ago, it's a process called the allergy technique or allergy process that has been shown by research studies to be able to help people really, um, you know, to, to uh, lessen their response to allergies. And it works through this notion of psychoneuroimmunology. Psycho means psychology, how we think, what we feel. Um, neuro is our nervous system, our, you know, the nervous system that goes not only in our brain, but through our whole body. And then, of course, immunology is about our immune system, which is what uh, works to protect us from illness and things like a, a viral infection. And um, so this idea of an allergy technique is it's using uh, our psychology, psychological processes, as a way to sort of influence how our immune system responds. Now, I've, I'm posting some information about that where it shows that you know, scientists have shown that you can actually even, uh, you know, sort of reinforce or program allergies in a guinea pig by putting something that makes them sick into their cage, putting a peppermint smell, for example. And when those two things get associated pretty soon, if you just put the peppermint smell, the guinea pigs start to react as if something dangerous is happening. So we can use this process ourselves to say, well, how can we increase and protect ourselves. Now, I, I've been using these processes for many years. And for example, I very, very rarely see a doctor, not because I don't like doctors or I'm afraid of doctors, it's just that I haven't needed to because I tend to have a very strong immune response. And I travel around the world, I'm exposed constantly. But I wanted to share uh, you know, a couple of things. My article suggests some things, but one of the things I just thought I might walk you through a some very simple process by which you can, you know, in very few minutes, just do some things to help make sure that you are at an optimal, uh, you know, immune state. So, um, and I, uh, this is again posted on the website, the steps, and the first step is basically to do what we call a kind of go to a disassociated state. Now, what that means is you're going to kind of go into a self-witnessing observer state. So it usually involves that you kind of lean back, and you're gonna sort of make an image of yourself in front of yourself as if you were watching yourself in a movie. And you can even kind of float back behind yourself and sort of observe yourself, observing yourself, so that you can really, really get a good sense of 
what is the desired state that you want to have so if you could imagine that you're watching this you know this uh, either you know movie screen or a big television screen and the idea would be what would you look like if you were in a sort of a you know a vital and healthy state a kind of an ideal healthy state and kind of see the way you would look the kind of vitality you would have um, and you want to try to get as clear an image we know that visualization has a really powerful influence on of course on our nervous system and again through that nervous system also on things like our immune system so one of the first things to do would be to see this and our, our sort of first step is kind of go to this observing state then really picture yourself uh, looking healthy and vital and full of energy in the way that you would like to the third step is very important part of uh, what we use in NLP called anchoring and anchoring is about making an association between something and something else we have probably all heard the stories of Pavlov and his dogs where he could ring the bell and the dogs would start to salivate even before they got food because they were anticipating this so this shows that our nervous system can really um, activate parts of our what's called our autonomic system which includes our immune reactions so anchoring is about making an association and in NLP we sometimes use a physical association you can use a gesture you can use an object you know it could, it's something either that you can hold in your hand or something that you can look at or that you can visualize or even something you can say to yourself words themselves can become an anchor and so what we want to do at this stage is we're going to anchor some reference experiences for a strong immune system and when we remember these things when we have access to these reference experiences like this example I was giving of the scientists programming the allergy and the guinea pig it reminds us of immune responses now we don't want to make an allergic response so the kind of things we're going to be using to to remember and put ourselves into are going to be things one one would be think of a time when you had some kind of a of a of an illness it could could be as simple as a cold and you got through the cold quickly could be a time that you recovered something in a, in a, from something that was a major thing where you really felt that you were participating in that that your body and your immune system was strong and functioning well so this a kind of a, a memory of resilience another another reference experience could be sometime when you actually avoided something that you, you could see other people were getting it around you but you knew you weren't going to get it and you didn't so again, the one is about resilience, the other is about sort of avoiding it. Um, obviously, other times could just be ex reference experiences for when you just felt really vital and healthy and, you know, at your best. Um, other, others that you might want to think about or consider, one would be there might be things that bother other people that are even toxic to other people that are not toxic to you because somehow, you know, you have developed this strong sense, you know. They, there's examples um, I'm from here in California in the early days where the gold miners would drink water that had strychnine in it that could would poison other people, even kill other people, but because they were able to drink it and develop this immune response, they were able to stay healthy even though they were drinking something that would make other people sick. So the next step is that as you get each of these experiences, you're going to want to put yourself into the experience and relive it. You want to see what you saw, hear what you heard, and especially feel what you felt in your body and really pay attention to what that's like in the body. All the different sensations that let you know that you're healthy and that your immune system is functioning well. So this, you want to take a little time with that. And then we're going to use a process that what we call an NLP, a very powerful process that's known as anchoring. And an anchor is a way of quickly remembering and getting back to something in a very rich uh, full way um, most of us probably you know know about the work of Pavlov and his bell where he rang the bell and when he associated that with food the dogs would already start to salivate even when there was no food and anchoring works a lot like that like the the example I was giving of the scientists uh, programming the allergies and guinea pigs so we associate things with uh, states of our body now an anchor can be many different things. It could be a gesture, like your thumbs up. It could be touching part of your body. It could also be something visual, looking at something, remembering something, imagining something like a flower blossoming. Um, 
when my mother was uh, healing herself from uh, advanced breast cancer, she would visualize her immune system as a, as a whole field of sheep. And these sh many, many sheep would go into this field and kind of graze the grass and take away the weeds, which would be like the cancer. So visualization can be a very powerful form of anchoring when we associate it to our experiences of wellness. Uh, it could also be a word. You could say something to yourself. So the process here would be you want to take these reference experiences, really put yourself in them, relive them. As I said, see what you saw, hear what you heard, especially feel what you felt. And then you associate that with your anchor. If the anchor was a touch, say, to your finger, you would do that. If it was a touch to your ear, you would do that. If it was a touch to your body, you do that. And these are all reminders to us of these positive experiences. It could also be visualizing something or saying something, even hearing music. The most important thing is that when you're fully in that experience, you remember or you use that anchor to create a strong association. And the more that you can repeat that and just try that a number of times, the more automatic it becomes. So you don't have to even think of the reference experience. You just make your anchor and you are you're reactivating that response, that healthy immune response. So. Um, you want to just try that a few several times and as you put yourself there and really make that association and then the final step of this process is to go back to that movie you were making of yourself being healthy and well and now you're going to actually take your anchor and put yourself into the movie like you're the actor you are living what you've seen and you're feeling it again you're seeing it you're hearing it you're feeling it so you're making a very rich um you know experience of that and this is how we, any effective performer, any athlete, any uh, actor, uh, any you know a, a dance person, uh, musicians, this is how you mentally prepare. You're mentally rehearsing and programming yourself for success. And I think this is one of the things that we can do for ourselves as part of our own self-responsibility in these challenging times is to take the best care of ourselves, be the best version of ourselves. So I hope this process helps you with that. And um, I'm going to be posting some other ideas around uh, what we call the inner game and being with some of the difficult feelings that can come up. But I hope this is something that you can use. It can be done very quickly in just a few minutes. And then you just repeat it any time that you're going to be, let's say, if you need to go out for something or you start becoming concerned that maybe you've been exposed. You can just do this process and it's going to really, you know, activate the, the, the strongest possible, um, you know, inner uh, resources that you have. So uh, I wish you a lot of safety and health in these very challenging times.